Hello everyone, Gotti from Pack of Punch Traders here, gonna go over this morning here, um, still waiting on things setting up for looking for a few multi-day bounces, AM, AM, looking for that 5 break, OCEA 973 break, just looking for that momentum shift, to, if it can show it can fail to break down and come back to new highs, that's gonna look very nice. <coughs> Got a couple other ones that aren't really shaping up yet, just low volume like ATLX. BAER looks like it wants to push lower for now. Um, that is scanners. What do we got? Oh, CFRX just keeps taking off. That's incredible, bro. Super low float. The market cap, insane volume compared to what it typically does. If we go to its history, normally about a million on the whole day. It's already doing six and a half. So, definitely a lot of demand behind this reaching resistance area. <clears throat> After this, could see eight, maybe higher. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. We'll just wait for it to push higher and higher and look for the multi day bounce. CEA looking like it wants to hold up. Let's see what other bounce plays we got. Um, CYRN. <coughs> nice. Okay, okay. Reversing pretty quick over 32 right here. But this could be an option. Let's confirm 32 here is support. Starts uptrending, that can definitely be a nice momentum shift. This thing is way off the highs. It's not your typical multi-day bounce. It hasn't set a red day yet, but could offer a bounce as people who are in in the 50s, the 40s. They're up decently now, and if it fails to break down, wow, okay. Nasty spread, though, too. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I would just wait for the confirmation. Just look for a dip buy to, to minimize the risk to enter into. But right now, I'm not liking this spread. Over 10%. Waiting a little bit. Let's see how this confirms. 32. Now it's tightening. Okay, that's not bad. <clears throat> here we got trka from the watch list something that i wanted to keep my eye on for that 33 and a half breakout recognizing there's resistance at 38 to 40 cents we are right here it is breaking over a decent resistance area with a lot of selling pressure at those levels so was going to be more patient to look for the confirmation, let it, let it really build up the volume that it needs to break out and give us the push we were looking for. And at this point, if it keeps holding up, uptrending, bringing in the volume it's bringing, it can possibly test the 45 region, maybe even get to 50, the next resistance area after that. But right now, solid breakout overnight. Pre-market just slowly grinded and opens up and touches 40, just as I expected. Could be a resistance area. Um, but now, let's see how it holds up. Fails to break down. Could offer another push. Okay, let's see that 
down. This one's up over the open price. Not too bad. Solid resistance here in the two mid twos. Alright, so we got a lower float, lower market cap. Um, decent little break over the low twos here, if it can keep confirming that. It does have some resistance in the 240s. But after it confirms the mid twos as support, next resistance isn't really till three. At least it can touch that area. So with this play here, I will keep looking for failure to break down. I'm clearly missing the open price in VWAP for claim. So maybe if this confirms VWAP as support, could trade it there or could wait for the pre-market highs here to set up. It's key level in the 240s as we can see here. So if it keeps selling the breakdown, the man still keeps coming to the play and it starts breaking to new highs on the day, I could see this pushing to 260, and then after that to the high twos, three-ish area. Right, we'll give this some time to develop here. Ten K still holding on. Oh, I forgot about OCDA. Ah, damn it! Fuck. All right. Let's see how this pushes. But right now, looking like I missed it. I'll maybe play a higher low. But right now, that nine seventy five area broke through on some decent volume. Now it's coming to red green. Not that far off the resistance from Friday in the high tens. So we'll see how high this can go. Let's look according to our data on average 30%. So previous close 9.99 times 0.3 plus 9.99 should get to 12.99. Just about that. It's going to move 30% from the previous close here. So, still has some range. Not totally over yet. Just need to see failure to break down. Alright, so 240 is holding as resistance very nicely here on AWIN. Same plan. Let's just look for failure to break down. Let's see some decent selling come through, shorts failing to break it down, and in a little bit, maybe not set up for the morning, but late morning, maybe come back in about an hour, um, could set up for a nice push higher to test three, if it can get past the two mid twos, because there's all a bunch of resistance in the 240s and 260s.
AM, AM, setting up for a possible wall stay bounce, still failing breakdown, holding up decently, making higher lows here. If we can just get volume to come back and we start breaking to new highs on the day, that can trigger a move to test what we got previous close 503, we're about dollar and a half. Looking for a solid push to the mid sixes. But of course that doesn't have to happen. It's an average. It can go way past that or it can just spike 15, 20% fizzle out. <clears throat> so really important to read the volume and resistance areas that could give it a hard time. Taking off. Didn't consolidate like I thought, just had those two minutes and then high or low and burst. So we'll see how this sets up. Still has that 260s resistance. Um, oh, there's that stuff. Looking for mid twos. Alrighty. Maybe it does need to consolidate like I thought. Alright. Yeah, that's definitely concerning. Massive selling at a resistance area. Deep pullback. This is just going to be a waiting game. The only patterns I can see setting up now are going to be the high daybreak later on after some consolidation. A good period, at least an hour, we'll look for. And then demand to come back. But as of now, this is looking like a solid top in the mid twos. But if shorts fail to break this thing down, and for whatever reason it starts coming back to the mid twos, reclaiming VWAP, just showing solid demand coming back, selling pressures weak, it can most definitely end up squeezing higher. So we'll just keep this in the back of our minds for now. Nice to see a little volume come back in this. I was really hesitant here, was thinking past couple minutes seeing how it bottomed out on weak volume getting stuff that red green a little concerning but now I kind of want to add here I'll go in with a small starter just a hundred shares looking to lose about 50 bucks if I lose maybe 60 just a minute 10 21 <clears throat> so I'll probably be risking here the bottom of around 967 so 1021 not too bad right there this thing could reach the 12s and I'm looking to lose about 40 50 bucks excuse me 50 60 bucks now I'm just gonna be patient let it keep making high lows obviously we have seen recently how the most day bounce can be a difficult time I have had the past month or so a couple losses on the bounce play just setting up just getting faked out so it's not set in stone here that this is going to bounce just as just because it's showing some bullish indication indicators um could easily get stuffed but we'll be patient We're, we have our risk level and we'll stick to it if it breaches it we sell if it doesn't just be patient for the uptrend Trying to hold red green. 
and VWAP. If this fails to break down here, makes a higher low, I'll look to double my size. This is a pattern I am willing to risk a little bit more than my average $50, $75. I'll look to risk $100, $150 if that is the case, as this is one of my favorite patterns, pretty reliable. Probably one of my most traded plays. Um, yeah, so just want to wait for some volume right now. This is kind of weak. But solid uptrend in the low nines here. <clears throat> AM trying to confirm here. Let's see how that one sets up. That could be another option to play. I really don't like to take multiple trades at once. I like to keep my focus on one ticker and not get overwhelmed looking at a bunch of things and managing the trades. This is holding up, making high lows. I just want to see a little bit more demand coming through before I add. As my lesson with a lot of my losses recently is adding too soon while it's not really giving me the right indicators and I just rush it because I focus mainly on the price action and I ignore the volume at times which is a mistake of mine, but here we are pushing to new highs and I miss my ad. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> some massive selling coming through very concerning as that is lining up right with the resistance from Friday in the 1060s 1070s so we'll see if this can make a higher low and come back with some volume if not could be could be a bad indicator here <clears throat> but still no need to overthink overall trend is upwards keeps making higher lows
So looking like I'm going to be taking this on small size. I'm really uncomfortable with the way this is moving. It makes me not really want to put in any good amount of size. It's pretty choppy right now. Yes, it's uptrending. Yes, we're seeing some volume come through. But this whole let's spike 30, 40 cents and retreat and then just keep doing that back and forth. Exhausting. Mentally exhausting. Here we are holding again. God damn, this thing's so confusing. So I'll just be as patient as I can. I only got 100 shares. <clears throat> oh, good call, small win. Let's just lock this in, it's whatever. I know I said I'm gonna be patient. But I'm seeing this volume exhaustion here. Or what it seems like to me. <coughs> Could easily be a build up and we push to the high 11s anytime here. Just a moment. are out at 11.23 dollars with size could be something good but this as I mentioned didn't really have the goal for this this back and forth action very indecisive giving me a hard time figuring out which way it's gonna go and if I want to size up into this but when we broke the high tens and confirmed it, we were able to get some volume really come through. So it is what it is. Not every trade is going to be perfect. Uh, yeah, I kind of went over all of it while I was in the trade. Way to at least be a little disciplined and wait for the confirmation instead of buying into spikes and just take my quick gains while I'm up as I am uncomfortable with this thing I know I did mention I might just be extra patient but I have a, such a hard time sticking to that statement <clears throat> as my personality just does not line up with patience I usually like my quick gains 10-15 minutes at most maybe a little longer at times but this thing here was giving me a hard time as it was already going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth the whole time. Although it was uptrending and I tried to let that guide me and keep me calm. I just could not ignore the exhausting price action. And here we are pushing higher. Not much of a difference. What am I going to be missing out on? 40, 50 bucks. Oh well. Already small size on this play, but... Good call from the watch list. Recognize the momentum shift. Just didn't set up the way I expected, and it gave me a hard time. So glad to walk away with a win, considering last week was my first red week. And yeah, so multi day bounce there. Let's just take a look at other plays now, see if we can make some more money. Uh. AM, AM. I, I like this trend. I don't really like the volume, but I like how it's uptrending, failing to break down. Right around five here. Low around the mid fours. Um, I really would like to see a bit more volume come through, but this isn't 
a horrible setup. You get the failure breakdown, light selling pressure, a bit more demand coming through after its solid run up and now decently off the highs. Um, yeah, first red day, shorts probably expected this to keep going lower, but we're holding up. So if it starts breaching red to green, which lines up with the $5 um, high day that we're looking for it to break, confirm this region as the new highs of around 506. So we got a bunch of levels here, 506, 503, 5. So just look for that zone to hold up as it is right now. Ideally, we get above it and confirm it to lead for a push to test at least six. I'm looking for a quick snipe on the multi-day bounce. But yeah, this one would be a little patient. And this is what I talked about. You know, that 30% move, that's the average that we have tracked. Don't let data make decisions for you. Use it to guide you in your decision making and I, I made sure I was aware that around 13, that could be an area where it tops out at. Um, but I recognized, as I mentioned earlier, I recognized the volume and trend and everything, saw that it was looking like it's getting exhausted with the volume. I'm up about 10%, just under, um, but still up enough to where I'm seeing volume exhaustion, a choppy play, giving me a hard time, um, just not your typical multi-day bounce that you see. I have plenty of examples that we've seen where once that momentum shifts, you're getting a solid squeeze within 10 minutes, not this 20-minute chop where it's moving 10-15% in that time compared to 30-50% in a matter of 15 minutes or so. Um, so... Who knows, maybe this is just the beginning and then late day it just really takes off. But for what it is, I traded it properly, I would say. And the only thing missing was the size on it, which is okay considering how it was moving. So after a first red week, I would say this is not bad of a trade to come back to. I treated it just right, I think. Volume completely died off. Wow. Okay. Well, if this sets up nice, this could be a nice play for tomorrow. I was really hesitant with this play as it looks like a fantastic multi-day bounce setup. It's way off the highs, has the range, um, and and I guess trader psychology for it to bounce. But ideally, with the multi-day bounce, I would like to see shorts and sellers having conviction in their position. And having control of the play with at least one red day. We didn't get that. So I was a little hesitant to put it as a top watch. But I could not ignore how much this has faded off the highs. Could definitely be due for a bounce. See a whole ton here to watch. It's having its own kind of multi day bounce here, but I never put it on as it didn't run one hundred fifty percent or more. And as of now, pretty weak bounce with this thing. Not much volume behind it. Well, I guess there is some volume, but not dollar volume compared to you know, how low the price is. Um, look at this thing fail. Fantastic. What a sell. Hell yeah. Um... Yeah, good example of how multi-day bounces work out. They're not all perfect. I'll take my $102 on this thing. They should be wrapping it up here. 
I don't really see much. This thing got stopped in its tracks. Okay. Uh, not really much to trade here. It's really just that one with CEA. Uh, what was that other one to take out? AMAM, keep on watch. Looking for that zone in the low fives here that we mentioned to turn to support, have some demand push through. As it starts breaking through these key areas to trigger the multi-day bounce but honestly besides that i do not see much at all let's take a look at blbx i don't know what to do with this let's see what's the news it's about to form four and let's see it's history does have some resistance coming up in the low ones. I'll just wait and see later on how it breaks out over the low ones. But besides that, that's the only thing I see. Because it started moving out of nowhere. Likely would not have been taking this first hold as... If we're being honest, there's not really much to play off of here. Could be an angle. I just have never really approached a trade like this. So what I don't know, I usually stay away from until I know it and learn it. So incredible move here, without a doubt. The higher, the better. Let's see how it sets up for a $1 break, 106 break. Looking for a quick snipe. What's the resistance area after that? We got the 120s, 130s, for sure the 140s. Um, has some range after it holds one. We'll just have to wait and see how it sets up there. Because once it gets to one, it's going to be a, about 100% on the day, just under. And I'm sure a lot of people who are in this thing right now are going to lock in profits as well. As any shorts looking at this resistance area are going to weigh it down as well as any bag holders here who are happy they're finally break even or so will hold it down with some of their selling um, so definitely we'll give this time to set up work through all the sellers fail to break down prove it's failed to break break down show some demand up trending holding view up just a bunch of bullish indicators proving that it's failing to break down shorts expectations are going to be broken and once it starts reclaiming key levels with some buying pressure, that can lead to a whole entire other squeeze. So that's BLBX and AMAM. Just what just a waiting game for now. I'm going to wrap this up, take a little break. I left you those two tickers. Um, oh, God, what were they again? <laughs> BLBX and AMAM. We got a multi-day bounce and a possible multi-week, multi-month breakout. What's this? Multi-week breakout. So, yeah, that's all I got here. As well as OCEA in the morning. Not much setting up. Uh, a decent amount of plays on the scanner, but I'm not really liking a ton of them. Some of them aren't moving. Some are just fading. Some just have a bunch of overhead resistance. TMDI, for example. It's moving, but I don't really have a pattern on it, so it's an ignore. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that. We'll catch you all later. Hope this was useful. Hopefully BLBX and AMAM offer something so it's not that boring of a day, but it's still pretty early. Anything could happen, so 